Daryl Williams has been in the NFL for four years. How many games do you think he has more than 10 carries? More than 10 carries? Yeah. Four years, you said? Four, yeah, this is his fourth year. Been on the Chiefs all four Six. years. Four. Really? Okay. He's four games with more than 10 carries. You know, did you know that, that his career average for rushing is 2.3 yards per carry? Is Daryl Williams? He's not flashy, ladies and gentlemen. He is not flashy. He did average five and a half yards per carry on five carries against Buffalo this past week and took 10 carries for 42 yards against Philly, so 4.2 yards per carry the week before and finished with 13 points. And that was with a healthy Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Uh, what I will say too, though, is his usage, at least last year, because I, I was a Daryl Williams rosterer last year yeah. um he was basically only used in sh- probably even the last two years he's really only used in like short yardage situations uh yeah. he was the goal line back and at a lot of times um and levy and bell took a lot of his regular usage away so yeah he, he i mean daryl williams does have two catches in each of the last three games which actually bodes somewhat well for him um and and when, after clyde got hurt they were checking the ball down to him quite a bit i know the weather was a little a little strange in Kansas City on Sunday night, but um, I, I think I would definitely prefer Daryl Williams to Devonte Booker. Um, I, I think that Clyde is going to be out longer than Barkley is, so I, I mean, I think you're you could go up to thirty, thirty five on on Daryl Williams just because I think one, it's a better offense, and two, Clyde's going to be out longer. Yeah. Um... Ian Rappaport from NFL Network is saying that he will miss at least a few weeks with that MCL sprain. Looking ahead to their schedule, Mm -hmm. they are at Washington, which, I mean, a lot of huge names on that defense, but sort of been an underperforming one at that so far to start this season. Uh, I don't think their quarterback situation helps any. Then at Tennessee, which can be run on at the home against the Giants, which are a dumpster fire. Uh, and then home against Green Bay, another dumpster. I mean, not dumpster fire, but like that defense doesn't scare me. You can you can run on them. So yep. four matchups in a row that I would be uh, not concerned Look, looking with. Looking your chops with. And, a little bit. And you would be, yeah, you'd be expecting mid to high RB2, low end RB1 value at least a couple weeks. I think if he gets into the RB1 range, he got lucky. I, I just... Yeah. I think that that offense is just going to pass more, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I, I think that that's kind of where the volume goes. Um, you know, it's, I, I don't think it all goes directly to Daryl Williams. So I, th- I think the play calling might change a, a, a wee bit. Yeah, I, you don't think McKinnon, I mean, McKinnon's not going to do anything there. I, I, he got in for a couple plays, but I, I mean, I, I would assume that it's going to be mostly Williams. Yeah, and if McKinnon does play, he's going to, you know, play two plays and then tweak his knee and then be done for the season. So, yeah, also also worth noting that Darrell Williams does have two rushing touchdowns on the year and Clyde had zero. Um, Cl- Clyde Edwards Alaire did have two receiving touchdowns uh, so far on the year. But so it's kind of like Darrell was kind of by the de fact, you know, by default or the de facto um, goal line back and. I mean, before Clyde got hurt against Buffalo, he was back to back weeks of 100 yards um, on 14 and 17 carries respectively. So, I mean, I do think Daryl does have a a low RB1 ceiling um, and I wouldn't be surprised with that schedule to see him get there. Um, the at Washington at Tennessee matchups are are just fine. Yeah. And his usage was going up anyway, right? He started the right. season at about 20 percent snap percentage and. Uh, even last week has seen that get to as high as 36%, get creeping over 40% this week um, with the injury to Clyde edwards Alaire. What I also do, I guess, want to point out is McKinnon did see 27 snaps. Like he was on the field for 30 plus percent of the time. Um, so I just, I think short yardage, midfield, maybe in the red zone, especially goal line, you're going to see Daryl Williams out there. but. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, do you, do you think 40% is too high? I, I know it's I know that's really high, but if you have not spent any of your fab Are you talking about 40% yet, fab? 
Yeah. If, if you if you have not spent any of your fab yet and you're looking at week six and we got 11 weeks to go. Like, yes, there's going to be more injuries. Jason's also the guy that spent 100 percent of his fab on Elijah Mitchell. He's so, the starting running back for the 49ers, by the way. OK, Um. So I, I'm just saying that I don't think it's unreasonable if you're a Clyde owner and you didn't and and Daryl's available, then I wouldn't I, I would even go. Much. I think I think it's perfectly OK to I would personally. I don't think I'd spend more than like 20 to 25 percent, which is insane. It's the first time I think you've ever been higher on spending fab on somebody than I have been. Um, yeah. I just don't think that that's really how they score. And I don't think that like power running is kind of their MO. So I agree, but they've also kind of been like lackadaisical. Like they're still the number one offense in DVOA and they face three of the best defensive teams um, so far. Uh, when you look at Buffalo, Cleveland's really good and Baltimore has been what very much above average. Um, so I, I just think that you're going to see them change their offense a little bit, especially now that their schedule opens up these next couple of weeks at Washington, at Tennessee, Giants, Green Bay, Vegas, Dallas. That's a nice little stretch and you can see their offense start purring. And if they're going to score third, like they're giving up 30 points a game every week because their defense is terrible. So they're going to have to score touchdowns and you want their running back. So that's that, that's why I'm considerably higher on him. Than I am on Devonte Booker, um, just because, like, better offense, more touchdown opportunities. 